Okay, I'm going to show you how to do a continuous running suture now with your at-home supplies. All you need is a needle holder, and I just tied a string to it. I double knotted it here. I just left a little bit of slack so it doesn't get in my way. We're going to use a paper towel. We're going to pretend we're going to connect these two halves together. So just fold it in half, and we're going to pretend we're going to connect it together, and you're caught on fire. So we're going to begin with the same exact technique as we did for the interrupted single suture here. We're gonna start by going through both ends of the tissue. We're just gonna leave a little bit of slack here. And then we're gonna do four twice, once, twice. We're gonna grab the back end of our thread and pull through. And then we're gonna repeat that again. One, let's get the string sorted here once twice we're going to grab the back end and pull through and then lastly we're going to go once in uh, reverse direction here i'm going to hold my cotton plier so you can see point of reference instead i'm going forward i'm going to go reverse once and then i'm going to grab the back end here and pull through and secure my knot here if this is an interrupted suture, we would cut these two pieces. But now we're going to do a running stitch or a continuous suture. So we're going to go ahead and insert our needle from the back end, so behind, and go through both layers of the tissue and pull through. And then we're going to repeat about the same distance here and repeat that. Come from behind and pull through and then I'm going to repeat it again from behind same distance apart and pull, pull through sometimes they call this a baseball stitch because it has the resemblance of the stitch on a baseball so it's continuous we're not going to stop until we did our, our closure here and let's do one more here Okay, and we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and five. And then we're gonna close it off here. So the trick to closing this off here is we're gonna do our last stitch here. We're gonna go through and we're gonna pull until we leave a little bit of a loop that we can grab. So I'm pulling through. This loop is my reference point. I'm gonna grab that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go same technique, go forward once, twice. I'm gonna grab this loop now and pull through. Good. And then I keep an eye where that loop is because that's where we're going to grab. Once, twice, grab my loop, pull through. I still have my loop here. That's my point of reference. Instead of going forward, I'm going to go reverse, reverse once. And pull through. And now if I can grab my scissor and cut it off here. And now I have a continuous running a suture. So we got some closure here. So if these were a cut, we just closed the wound here.